Before we get into the video, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, and that is Whatnot. For those of you that are not familiar with Whatnot, it is an amazing site or mobile app where you can buy and sell all kinds of items, including Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, Funkos, Magic, literally anything that you can think of. I will be live on Whatnot later today at around 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and of course, this is for Tuesday, May 30th, and I will be doing a mystery box break, as well as auctioning off some really cool miscellaneous Yu-Gi-Oh! related goodies. That includes some of these gorgeous English dub stylized Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I will be signing these if you want them signed. I also have some limited edition shirts that I will be signing as well, so if that interests you, now is another chance to pick up these shirts and get them signed by me. Use my link to sign up and I will see you there today at 5 p.m. May 30th. Can't wait. Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So, I thought what might be a pretty fun idea for a video is to ask an AI, more specifically ChatGPT, what the 10 best Yu-Gi-Oh! duels of all time are. Now, we're also going to ask them what the worst duels of Yu-Gi-Oh! are. Now, this is a topic that I have made videos on for pretty much every single Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I've even done a video where I rank the 10 best of all time. I know it was a few years ago, but I feel like that video is still pretty accurate as to where I would rank the Yu-Gi-Oh! duels. So I'm very interested to see which duels the AI is going to pick. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So one of the things I'm most interested in is, will this just pick duels from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, or will it actually pick duels from all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! shows, Duel Monsters all the way through 7? So let's start by asking, how would you rank the top 10 best Yu-Gi-Oh! duels of all time? So let's see if it picks just dual monsters all right starting with yugi versus atem oh okay no we're already on gx i love it yusei versus jack yuya versus gongenzika what hang on let's let's let this type out and then we'll we'll read it one by one all right so we got some interesting choices here we have a couple of duels that i think the ai is completely wrong in and there's actually one duel that didn't even happen. Uh, there is one duel on this list that legitimately never happened. So we'll start at the top, Yugi versus Atem, the Battle City Finals. It's not the finals of Battle City, but Yugi versus Atem is a very good duel. Um, it is actually my number five duel of all time. So that's a good pick. Judai versus Yubel at the end of season three. That's a very good one as well. That's not a top 10 for me, but it's definitely probably like a top 20 top 25 it's a fan favorite duel so that's a really good pick Yusei versus Jack at the end of the fortune cup is another really good pick the first three have all been really good duels now only one do I actually have as a top 10 I think Yusei versus Jack in the fortune cup is one of the better ones in 5ds but top 10 of all time uh, that's probably a little bit of a stretch and number four is definitely a stretch Yuya versus Gongenzika uh, no, I'm sorry. First of all, I don't think it's at the end of the Friendship Cup. It's definitely not the Friendship Cup Finals. But no, this is not... It, to me, this isn't even a top 10 duel in Arc 5. So the AI is completely drunk on this one. That is an X for me. Um, I, <laughs> I'm i sorry. Top 10 duel of all time. No way. It's not even a top 10 duel in Arc 5. Then they have one that's actually my number one. Seto Kaiba versus Yugi at the end of Battle City. A legendary duel that takes place on top of the blimp pitting two rivals against each other in an intense and strategic match. What's fascinating is this duel did not take place on top of the blimp. Most of the Battle City finals did, or really the quarters, uh, but that duel itself took place on top of the Coliseum. So again, you can see how some of the information here is not fully accurate, but Seto Kaiba versus Yugi at the end of Battle City or in Battle City is, it's also not the finals, right? Yugi versus Marikas, but that is my number one duel of all time. And so I can't fault 
the AI too much for putting that one up here. Then we have Zayn versus Jaden uh, season two finale. Yeah, I actually like this one a lot. This is an honorable mention for me. This is probably like in the 11 to 13 range of all time. So I don't disagree with them there. I think that was one of the better duels of GX and one of the better duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh for sure. Number seven, Yugi versus Raphael, Waking the Dragons arc. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I also love what they wrote. The duel pushes Yugi to their limits as they face the powerful seal and its devastating consequences. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Uh, this duel is so significant, in my opinion, with how shocking it was, uh, with how just unexpected it was, and I can see the argument for a top 10 duel of all time. It's not on my list but I can see it being up there in the conversation for sure. We have another 5Ds one, Yusei versus Aki or Akiza. It's weird that they put the sub name and the dub name in parentheses when they didn't do that for any of the other ones. In the Fortune Cup semis, that's a really good duel. It's one of my favorites in 5Ds. Number nine, Joey versus Marek, Battle City quarterfinals. It's not the quarterfinals, it's the semifinals, but close enough. One of the best duels in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. I think there's a good amount of people that might argue this is a top 10 duel of all time. Definitely top 25 for me. I don't have it in the top 10 uh, personally, but I think it's another really, really good duel. And so honestly, of these first nine, all of them are good except Yuya versus Gongenzika. And I'm not crapping on Yuya versus Gongenzika. It was a fine duel. But to say it's a top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh duel of all time across all seven shows is a massive stretch. And then number 10 is a duel I think we all wish we got but we actually didn't get, so ChatGPT is definitely drunk on this. And that is number 10, Yuya versus Yuto, Yugo, and Yuri in the Friendship Cup. An epic four-way duel that introduces the concept of dimension summoning and sets the stage for the interdimensional conflict. What? I mean, all of this is real until the final one, which is just complete fan fiction. Uh, number 10, this four-way battle royale duel never happens. Do we all wish it happened? Absolutely. Um, would I have loved to see this instead of maybe the Zark duel at the end? Absolutely. Even with the Zark duel, if they showed this as like an inner conflict going inside Zark, like while that duel was happening, that would have been awesome. But it certainly did not happen. And it certainly did not happen in the Friendship Cup. So I would say eight of these 10 responses are valid. And a few of them I even have on my own top 10 duels of all time list. Another important thing to note, we got no Vrains duels, no Sevens duels, no Go Rush duels, no Zexel duels, and I think that's it, but pretty funny that a few of those shows were omitted. I actually have a Vrains duel and two Zexel duels on my top 10 of all time, so yeah, I'm surprised those shows were completely omitted. So I'm going to ask, what are the 10 worst Yu-Gi-Oh! duels of all time? And this will be interesting because I feel like the top 10, it's pretty easy for them to look up what duels are highly talked about. I feel like this one's going to be a little more tricky for the AI to come up with. So let's give it some time and we'll see what the AI believes are the 10 worst duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I do appreciate how kind the AI is. It's important to note that the opinions on what constitutes the worst duels can vary widely among fans. What one person considers a bad duel, others may enjoy, which is super true. So I like that disclaimer. All right, so I've been doing this for about 30 minutes now and the AI just kind of broke. I've been trying to regenerate responses, but it doesn't get past like the first three. So this is the best we're gonna get. Uh, the 10 worst duels, really the seven worst, Yugi versus Weevil in Duelist Kingdom. This duel is criticized for Weevil's unsportsmanlike behavior and the anticlimactic finish with a fake Exodia card. That does not happen in the duel between Yugi and Weevil. They're obviously getting a little bit confused here with Weevil throwing the Exodia cards off of the ship. There's no fake Exodia card in the Yugi and Weevil duel. Um, and also, that's not one of the worst duels of all time. Weevil sucks as a character, but still. Number two, Jaden versus Marcel Bonaparte. I did not think that that duel was necessarily bad either. Um, I, I don't remember that duel much, to be honest. The only one I remember is the duel between Jaden and Ubel against Marcel. I think that's the only time they ever dueled. And that duel was pretty enjoyable. Um, so, 
Yeah, I don't really agree with that one. Number three is another duel that just didn't happen. Yusei versus Crow. These two characters never dueled, believe it or not. They certainly did not duel in Crash Town. Some fans found this duel underwhelming and felt it did not live up to the expectations set by the buildup. Well, I would agree with that because the duel didn't happen. So yeah, it was underwhelming because the duel never happened. Number four, Yuma versus Flip Turner. That's one that I can definitely see being near the top or at least in the conversation for one of the worst duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't disagree with that one. And then Yuya versus Shingo in the junior arc. I imagine that's their first duel um, and not the, the rematch. Uh, definitely not a bad duel. It's certainly one of Shingo's worst duels, but it's early on in Arc 5. I don't think it's one of the worst duels of all time. I think that's a little harsh. Number 6, Kaiba versus Siegfried. They're completely, completely wrong on this one. I actually think this is a low-key, underrated, really strong duel. I really enjoyed Siegfried as like a short or anime-exclusive character, I should say. So to say that's one of the worst duels of all time, no way. And then Yugi versus Rebecca. Sure, I can see people not being happy with how that duel ended with Yugi surrendering. We don't really see the Pharaoh duel. That one being a little bit of a boring duel. I could see it. Top 10 worst of all time. Probably not, but definitely, you know, not, not a great duel. So there you have it. That is ChatGPT AI's 10 best and 7 worst duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. And I think we can learn a lot from this, right? As AI technology is growing, it is going to be something that continues to impact our world and everyday life. And I think it's got some really cool usages. I think making these lists um, is a really cool usage. Of course, you know, AI being used for like art or art theft, that is a usage that I definitely do not support. And I think that's, you know, any usage that AI has that takes away from a creator is not good. Unfortunately, it's here, but I think to make kind of mock lists and situations like this, I think it's a it's a cool use for AI, but there's also massive limitations, right? Yusei versus Crow, Yuya versus the other U boys in a four-way battle royale. Those are duels that didn't even happen. So not only is it not listing out maybe some of the best and certainly some of the worst duels of all time, it's also just making up information that's not actually real so there's certainly limitations here but i would love to know your thoughts on this list particularly the 10 best duels list because i feel that was way more um relevant and potentially accurate than the worst duels list i mean there are some good duels here yugi versus atem yusei versus jack Kaiba versus Yugi, which is my number one. I mean, let me know if you think any of these are some of the best duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And let me know if you would have liked to see Yuya versus the U-Boys. I think everyone would have, but hey, never happened. Thank you guys all so much for watching. A special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patrons, Goosey Q and Panther J, and to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood, Latrell Smith, and Elaine, and do my Egyptian God tier patron, Pink Penguin. Be sure to check out my Patreon for additional channel perks. Thank you to everybody who is a patron or channel member. You guys help me out tremendously. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! anime content, and I hope you have an amazing day.